We're back. Another No Pulp webisode. John Dales, Jacob Morris, and with us, the college football season is back as well. Right off the bat, big news. We're talking college football playoff expansion you knew was coming. Four teams to 12 teams. Could start in 2024, but it's coming in 2026. Yeah, and it's going to be a little bit different than what we've been used to because also the way that the seeding works. You're going to have six conference champions, the highest six conference champions, and then six at-large bids after that. Look, I think we can get into my takes in a little bit, but J-Mo, your first thoughts on this? Well, it's interesting because as a Notre Dame fan, Notre Dame homer, some yep. describe, it's interesting because if the Irish stay independent, the top four conference champs, those will be your top four seeds, meaning independent teams will never have an opportunity at a bye. For me, I'm excited about this. I think more teams means more excitement in the sport. Specifically, I think it's awesome that those first round games before the buys, they'll be played on campuses. It'll be exciting. You'll see crowds. You'll see matchups on campuses we've never seen before. I know you disagree. Look, I don't disagree that those <laughs> matchups on camp and campus uh, locations are going to be fun. Here's what I'm saying. For all those people that were clamoring, we need more mediocre teams in the playoff. <laughs> look, now you've got that, all right? I don't, I'm not going to argue that point because, look, there's been four teams in the playoff since 2014, and everybody's been saying, well, every single year it's a blowout in the first round. What is this going to do to change that? Well, I think it gives more teams an opportunity to make the playoff, which you might disagree, but that's how you ultimately level the playing field when it comes to recruiting and everything else. If more teams have an opportunity to make it in, then maybe it's not just the top three teams. Plus, we've seen teams make noise. We were talking about USC the other day. Teams that get better throughout the season, they'll have an opportunity now. No? Look, the, there's an opportunity for teams, like you mentioned, USC. You lose a couple at the start of the year and then you can turn things around but it just dilutes the regular season a little bit and suddenly those matchups of 11 and 1 against 12 and 0 in the conference title game they don't matter as much anymore well they'll still matter for seeding but ultimately 2024 at the earliest 2026 ultimately for college football playoff expansion exciting times in the sport unless your name john dales but that's all the time we have tune in for the full show on youtube and otn